שבוע טוב, הגות אבוך, הגות מד, הגות יול, מאה דימו לשמחו, חגים וזמנים לסוסין. So it's now after the first days of, of Sukkot, and now we are preparing for the wonderful days of Shmini Yatzelis and Simchas Tehle in the diaspora, and Shmini Yatzelis and Simchas Tehle in one day in Eretz Yisrael. And the Simcha is great. We are going to dance with the Tehle, and the Tehle is going to dance with us. Now, the Tehle wants to dance. The Rebbe says that in a Sikha. But the tailor cannot dance on its own. You need legs, you need feet to dance. So how does the tailor dance? The Rebbe says the tailor dances when there is a fusion, when there is a union, when there is unity between the Jew and the tailor. So the Jew becomes the feet and the legs of the tailor, so together they can dance. And there's more to it. We will return to that in a moment. But first, our customary story. This story happened in 1940, which is actually, uh, at, to, at, at, it's the Rosh Hashanah of the Sukkot of Tov Shin Aleph. And it was at the end of 1940. The story was told to Lubavitch Chassidim by Lava Goen the Bishmul Yankev Rubinstein who was the love of the Gilas Achaledis, the Gilas Achaledis in Paris. And he was very friendly with the Rebbe. And when the Rebbe became a Rebbe, I heard this from Chassidim a few times, he told the Chassidim in Paris, he didn't really know the Rebbe. So he says, Ich will have that same well I a Rebbe is. I am going to tell you who your Rebbe is. He told two stories. This is one of the stories. He says for... Sukkis of Tovshin Aleph. They were in Nice, in the south of France, uh, or Nitza in, in, in Hebrew. And the Rebbe came over to him, Chalamei Tzukis. And the Rebbe asked him a question. Is, does one have a right to go on Mitzvah's Nefesh and sacrifice his life for a Hidu Mitzvah? Not for only for a mitzvah, for a hidden mitzvah, for the enhancement of a mitzvah. But Rav Lubishtin was alof, so he told him, Api halocha, one can only sacrifice his life on one of three uh, matters, either a vedazola or gilwe aloyis, or immorality, or shvi domim, or, or, or murder. This is not one of them. So the Rebbe didn't let him come to a conclusion. The Rebbe said these are the halochas under normal circumstances. In difficult times, there is something that a person should go on Mesedes Nefesh, even on al de the Mesane, which means on the way Jews would wear their shoelaces. And it went back and forth. The Rebbe did not let him come to a conclusion to say that it's not allowed. That's how the they left the conversation. For two days, he didn't see the Rebbe. After two days, the Rebbe came back, and his face shined, and he brought back two Esregim, two Kalabra Esregim. Uh, this was not Chalamed, I should be corrected, this was be two day, uh, before Sukkot. Two Esregim he brought back, one he gave to Rav Lubinstein, and one the Rebbe kept for himself. And this was Mesidus Nefesh. It's the time of war. In order to get to Italy, yes, there is a border. In the south of France, there is a border between France and Italy. But you have to go, you have to go through a border check from country to country. Two times. Once when you go from France to Italy, and then when you come back, it's a time of war. The Italian government was a fascist government under Mussolini, not a friendly government. And the Rebbe went on Mesut Nefesh for a Hidu mitzvah. There was another Lesnik in town. It wasn't a question of doing the mitzvah. It was a question of doing the mitzvah with a Hidu. The Rebbe wanted a Yan of Lesnik, and that's what the Rebbe got. And as mentioned, Rav Lubinstein, after the Nesias of the Rebbe, told the Chassidim in Paris, I am going to tell you who your Rebbe is. Rebbe say concerning... Shmini Yatzeres and Simchas Tehle. 
I heard from him by the Bissarol Friedman, all of Asholim, a wonderful, wonderful Jew. And he would say that the Alter Rebbe said, I think he said the name of the Alter Rebbe, Azayid gets to our coffers, met an offener cup and met an offener heart. If a Jew goes to our coffers with an open mind and an open heart, all heavens are open to him. So therefore, it even says in Cedar that the, the, the 48 hours of, 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 of Shmini Atzeres and Simcha Stere are equal to the 48, 48 hours of Rosh Hashanah. However, Rosh Hashanah, we get it by supplication, by saying Tilim, by crying. And on Simcha Stere, we, getting, we get it by dancing. And this is what everyone can do. And Chsidim would say, on the Rebbe Detzemech Tzedek, before the, before the Nesiyas, that he would dance all night on, 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 on Shmini Atzeres and Simcha Stere. And it's told about our Rebbe, that he would dance all night in 770 on Shmini Atzeres and Simcha Stere. The Rebbe asks several questions concerning Shmini Atzeres and Simcha Stere. Number one, that it would stand to reason that we should open up the Tehra, we should learn the Tehra. We are, we are Simcha Tehra, so let's learn, let's learn Tehra. We'll open up the Tehra, we'll learn Tehra, and then we will dance with the Tehra. But we don't do that. We dance with a closed Tehra. Why? When you open up the Tehra and you learn, not everyone is equal. One understands more, one understands less. It's, it's, it's very simple. One has a, a greater intellectual ability, and one does not. One can learn Gemara with all the, with all the depth, with all the Fodashim, and one can hardly uh, understand a Mishnah. However, when the Sefer is closed, then everyone is equal. And everyone dances equally. Moreover, we mentioned before, the Jew becomes... The, the, the legs and the feet of the Sefer Teireh. What does that mean? That there is a unity between the Jew and the Sefer Teireh. And, this, and the Jew brings the Sefer Teireh to, to where the Sefer Teireh on its own cannot get there. So this is the special, the special connection. And this year, I may say, is a year of Hakhil probably told it to you before. Everybody knows it's a year of Hag Hail, and a year of Hag Hail is everything, everything is different. Hag Hail is another word for the Yulo Amitis Vashlemo. And every year, on the year of Hag Hail, on, Shmi, on Simcha Stere, during the day, the Rebbe davened in a Siddur that had a Siddur and a Machzer together. That's the, that, the Rebbe davened in, in that city of the Machzad a whole year. The Rebbe would open up the Machzad to the Haftada of the second day of Rosh Hashanah. And he would say this posuk three times. Bomi Vilufi Seyachorov, ye led us Yachdov, Kohol Godel Yoshuvu Heino, Kohol Godel Yoshuvu Heino. That's another word for the, uh, uh, for the Gulo Amitis Vyashlemo. So Hagel and Moshiach are basically synonymous. Hagel is the ultimate redemption in Mir Tashem, coming our way, as we are the last generation of Golos and the first generation of Gulo. Well, we are the generation that are going to see Emir Tashem, the great hag hail of all men, J Jewish men, women, and children in Eretz HaKedosh. Begulo ha-mitis v'ashlimu, v'agolo didano v'simcho v'tuv livov, v'teva nire v'aniglo, l'mato m'yasod atfochim, v'chesed, v'rachamim, v'tekef, v'miyad, mamesh.